you are welcome to my channel today i'm going to make a video of a request from many of you many of you have requested for a video on how to sew a housewife slate that is in ghana um, usually this slate or this skirt is usually worn by um it's usually worn by women's fellowship or women's ministry in ghana Usually that's the um, style of skirt or slit they wear with their white top for their meetings and other programs. And so today we are going to learn how to sew. And in Ghana we call it housewife. I don't know the name the Nigerians use for it. So my Nigerian friends, you can tell me the name you use for this slit or this skirt. In Ghana we say slit, this skirt. Okay, so that's what you are going to do today. Housewife slate and so i have already lined my fabric if you want to know how to line a fabric i'm going to leave the link in the description box for you to see and know how to line your fabric and do this okay so aligning your fabric you will take one part of your fabric and then fold it into two you you fold two inches you don't just take any part you take the part where you want it to go to either the left or right housewife usually is either the left or right you can either fold it to your left or your right and so i'm going to fold it to my left and so i will take this and then i'm going to fold two inches this way and so two inches you are going to sew on this line this is more than two inches so i'll reduce it a bit i'm trying to make it quick for you it's easy for you to understand you can fold one and a half but two inches is okay you can even fold three inches depending on your client's hip measurement that will determine how much you are going to fold in so basically two inches is okay so we are going to So this but you won't sew now okay after this you are going to fold your fabric to your body measurement and the measurement is going to be based on your hip measurement that is the larger part of your body and so the hip measurement I'm using is 44 44 you add sewing allowance to 8 and I'm going to add 8 inches 44 plus 8 is going to be 52 and so 52 we are going to divide it into two and into two is going to be 26 or so the simplest way to do is 44 you divide it into two that is 22 then you add four inches to it and that's going to give you 26 okay and so we are going to fold at the end of the day we want everything to be 26 okay and so I'll just open up my fabric this way. So as I said, I want my folding, the open part to be on my left leg. I want it to be on my left leg. The opening part where it opens this way, I want it to be on my left leg. You can decide to let it be on your right leg, however you want it. And housewife, usually the open part is in front. But you can also decide to take it back. You can also decide to take it back. But this one, we are going to make it in front. Okay. So I'll fold larger part in this way. When I measure here, I have like 20, but I'm going to make it 19. So I'm going to fold it to 19, which is okay. 19, okay. Then I'm going to bring this side on top. I'm going to bring this side on top. This side, I'm going to bring it on top this way. So you see how we fold it? Very simple. Okay, so I have exactly 26 here. 26. So that's how 
is supposed to be so my hip measurement plus uh, my hip measurement divided by 2 plus 4 and that is 26 okay and so you see we've folded this part in this way I measured 19 and then folded the rest on top and then making sure that it's equal to my measurement that is my hip measurement plus allowance so you see when I measure it through it's all supposed to be 26 you see okay so this is it this is it now it's left with the sewing now with the sewing we are going to measure from this line this is where the knee is going to be so from this line I am going to measure that is from this line that is where I have folded inside I am going to measure my knee length and the knee length I'm using is 19 I am going to add 1 inch to 8 to make it 20 you can you can you can make it 2 inches above your knee so I'll make it 20 that is the 21 plus the 1 inch is for folding on top folding on top because you are going to put rope into this so folding on top so I'll just mark my 20 here my 20 so this is it so at the end of the day I'll come here also and measure the ends here that is the edge here measure the same 20 also here so this is it and I'm going to join this 20 to this 20 line so this is it so I we are going to sew on this point you see where we folded where I have pinned that is where we are going to sew we are going to sew on that point here you see uh -huh. and this is the other point this is where it will end this way Do you get it so we are going to sew this way hope you get it we are going to sew this line get here and then turn it this way secure it very well that's what you are going to sew at the end of the day we expect that we are going to sew on this line we are going to sew on this line so i'll pin it to sew on this one now at this point after sewing on this one you can place your measurements on it from the waist to hip I'm going to make it nine nine including uh, folding on top and I'm going to make it nine also here okay so my hip 22 I'll measure the 22 and that's the 22 so I have one two three four so I'm going to leave two inches on both sides two inches and I'm going to leave two inches also here two inches then you can bring the same two inches to the waistline you can bring the same to the waistline but I'm going to make it um, three inches on each side I'm going to go in a bit so I'm going to reduce it I'm not using the same measurement for the waist line okay so when I measure here 
I have 20 making 40 it will be okay I'll be able to wear okay so when I come here also the down here you can decide that from the two inches you are going to go straight to the down here or you can choose to go in a bit and make it a bit of pencil do you get it a bit of pencil so I'm going to do it that way and I'm going to measure three inches here just as I did for the upper part you know this one because it's housewife style you are not supposed to make it too um, fitting three inches as for housewife you don't make it fitting like pencil but we also don't want it to be too um if I go back at that your baby okay so I'm going to join my point at the main side here also you can also decide to go in a bit now you can another way you can do it you can make it two corners also you can decide to go in at the knee side and then here the down here you will not go in you will just straight it this way you will just straighten it this way and that will be it and then do the same thing so maybe you go in like four inches here at the knee side and then and then four inches also here you get it mm -hmm. that is the four inches depends so so in total it's going to be 18 36 and then you come here also you will decide that this place you are not going to come in you will just measure half inch here and join it from here to meet it to meet it and then come here to half inch and join it from the knee side to meet it and so with, if you want to use this star make sure that you use the tape measure around your knee area and see if you can walk through it very well the measurement you get you use it for this so don't just measure for because i've measured for no but on this point at this point i'm not going to measure um the four i'm going to use the same three inches i have here for this knee part i'm going to use the same three inches or uh, because i'm making it pencil when i because i'm making it pencil, there will even be no need for me to um go in there so i'll just place my tape measure here here this way even this place you can go in a bit more i'm going to make it four inches i want it to be a bit pencil for me but you can make it very straight as i said uh, with housewife you don't tighten it and so this is it i'm going to join it this way straight to the hip area I'm going to use this I'm joining from the waist to the hip okay, so I'm going to join this so this is it and I'm going to measure also four inches here instead of the three I want it to be a bit pencil down there so when I measure everything I have 18 which is okay for me so I am going to join it straight to the hip line so it's going to be a bit of a pencil you get it Hope you get my point but you can make it straight just you can use the same hip measurement for the down you don't need to go in like the way I'm going in you can use the same hip measurement for the down part I just want a bit of shape in it that's all okay and so we are going to sew on this and sew on this also we are going to sew this 
turn it this way so yes secure it very well do you get it then after you will just open this you will just open this part you know you will secure so you cannot open this part and so you just open this part this part and then sew this straight down sew it straight down and secure that so i'll do that and come and show it to you one you can also choose to secure it so it's down this way before you will place this on top and then sew this so after after the next thing to do is i am going to fold the upper part here one inch one inch and then put my rope in it now you just indicate where your middle is so we'll put everything here 20 so, so the middle is 13 13 this is the middle so i'm going to leave half inch here half inch here so i'm going to sew all around when i fold it this way i'm going to sew it up to this point then leave half inch and sew all round to this point and then leave the middle so i'll do that and come and show it to you so here is it i am done so this is it housewife slate you see so this is the opening part and you see this place also this place also open uh -huh. so this is it this is how we sew housewife you can also call it overlap skirts so it's just like the way you tie your wrap, your fabric, or the way I throw waterman. That's how you use the method to sew. This is where I folded, and this is my rope, you see. So this is it. So you just pull it, and then you tie it to your waist. So this is it for it. Thanks so much. For watching if you have not yet subscribed please consider subscribing like and share this video i'm going to put this on the mannequin for you to see have a blessed day bye bye